Okay, this is a, a remake of something I did about an hour ago on uh, YouTube's quick capture device. It uh, apparently didn't capture the sound, so now I'm having to make it again. Uh, it was about 40 minutes wasted. Now, uh, this is an analysis of Meatloaf's I'll Do Anything for Love, in parentheses, but I won't do that. Now, um, first, first of all, Patty Russo sings a duet in this. Uh, there's a live version on uh, YouTube. On her website, quote, it states, uh, although she has never had any vocal training or acting lessons, Patty Russo is certainly one of the best artists in the music business at present. Her talent and her determination helped her to get the leading role in the London West End production of the musical Notre Dame de Paris. Uh, okay, French. Okay, let's mix the language here. I mean, that's another topic. Chinglish and Spanglish. Spanish and English. Chinese and English. You know, it's a half-assed way to talk. Well, that's a little side note. Anyway, Patty said she said much she could very much relate to the character of the gypsy girl and Esmeralda because Esmeralda had fire and her spirit of not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow are also characteristic of herself. End quote. Okay, being self-taught is a half-assed way to be. Uh, when somebody's not training you or they're too selfish to train you, this is how you end up. But her talent has prevailed and even without any training, she's still better than most people with training. So that says a lot says a lot about somebody. It should be phenomenal and spectacular if she had the right training. She'd probably be much she'd probably be even much better. Um, I have here the live version of I Will Do Anything for Love and then I have the lyrics in front of me. I'm gonna make my commentary. Uh, so I'm gonna start the song. Okay. All right. Um, looking at the lyrics here, and I would do anything for love. I'd run right into hell and back. Well, he's—it's desperation and despair that's talking here. He's probably and looking at it from a single person's point of view. He's, uh, you know. He can appreciate love, and he's doing what he can to get it. And he's going, he's committed. I'll run right into hell and back. Um, a lot of meaning into this. Alright, I'm going to pause, and I'm going to continue as I make my commentary. Says I would do anything for love. I'll never lie to you, and that's a fact. Well, he's an honest person. He won't lie, and he basically will do anything to find love. Um, and it goes on to say, "But I'll never forget the way you feel right now." Oh no, no way. How she feels, or if it was a girl talking to a guy, how the guy would feel. And you know, he, he's affecting. Affecting how she feels. I'll never forget the way you feel right now. Is his dedication and, and uh, love that's making her feel the way she's feeling? Oh no, no way. Um, means it's special. It only happened maybe in a fleeting moment. And a lot of a lot of uh, people encounter this. They 
meet some girl and then meet some guy and then the guy disappears and the girl walks off and doesn't realize there's an opportunity and then boom she, he's gone and the next thing he's on he's on some internet site she's on some internet site looking for him well too late shoulda woulda coulda I mean it's not like it's uh, you're gonna see the guy again you didn't get his contact information Alright, um, alright, I would never, I'd, I'd never lie to you and that's a fact, but I'll never forget the way you feel right now. Basically, you know, he's affecting how she feels and he'll, he'll, he'll never lie. Uh, it goes on to say, I'll never do anything for love, I won't do that, no, I won't do that. It's not being redundant, it's basically repeating, uh, reiterating that uh, you know he's in love anything for love oh no oh I would do anything for love but I would do anything for love I won't do that no I won't do that maybe he won't lower his standards or make himself struggle to get your love it's equal shouldn't have to you know do more because you're selfish and you don't want to give him your love you know what I mean? I mean that's what it's underlying meaning and the it's, it's more rude it's more more than rudimentary. I mean uh I'm not trying to be rudimentary or basic here. This is this deserves as much attention as possible. Now it's picking up the pace. Okay, some days it don't come easy, some days it don't come hard. Well, daily event for a lot, for me at least, some days it don't come easy. It's a struggle. It doesn't come easy to find love. Uh, women and men don't recognize love when it comes across their path. They shine it off like with a smug, you know, flatulent type of attitude like it's nothing. Well, you don't downplay that. You know, some days it don't come hard, it comes hard on many occasions and when it's far and few between that it doesn't come hard then it's something uh, unique and it's to be it's to be cherished because uh, opportunities don't come easy for some people um, alright let's continue All right. Some days it don't come. Uh, it says some days it don't come at all, and these are the days that never end. Yeah, that's that's the that's the mainstream point here. That's some days it don't come at all. That means it's boring, it's dull, and nothing happens. And no matter how much you want something to happen, you're in despair. And it doesn't happen at all. Now you look up the word despair in American in the dictionary. It says one to lose all hope. Despair of reaching shore safely. Two to be overcome by a sense of futility or defeat. It's it sucks. It's really bad to feel this way. It's one of the worst things a person can feel. Is it's it's not only loneliness. It's it's beyond that. A critical uh, critique, a critical review or commentary, especially when dealing with works of art or literature. Two, a critical discussion of a specified topic. Three, the art of criticism. Yes, this is a, a critique and a, a criticism. It's not a, a criticism, it's more of an uh, analysis and evaluation. So, um, continuing on. 
It says some nights you're grieving fire, some nights you're, you're, you're emotional as heck, you're, you're ready to go and nobody's there. Or some nights you're carved in ice, like you're, you're uh, feeling uh, trapped or you're feeling tense or stressed, like Gemini's. They're, they're down, they're